Hi, I'm Dr. Trish Barris, president of Intera Solutions and one of the developers of the Screen for Opioid Abuse Risk, or the SOAR. I'm a psychologist and have been fighting to destigmatize mental and behavioral health issues in the medical and opioid abuse prevention space for years. When working with pain patients, I realized that treatment based only on the medical model wasn't enough. We have to incorporate mental and behavioral health issues into treatment. Why? Evidence suggests that patients with depression are three times more likely to be non-compliant to medical recommendations. More than 50% of opioid prescriptions went to patients with depression and or anxiety and 35% of patients presenting for pain management are high risk for abuse or misuse. This, this underscores the dire need to carefully evaluate patient risk and to educate medical practitioners on the importance of conducting comprehensive assessments prior to prescribing. We developed the SOAR with our own funds and with funds provided by the Ohio Challenge, we have continued our validation and research efforts by continuing to enhance and adapt the measure, developing a Spanish version, creating a more user-friendly report, and developing EHR integrations. After meeting with healthcare and legal organizations and providers, it became clear that the greatest impact on the opioid problem was to be made by understanding the demographics of the over 4,000 unintentional overdoses and targeting these individuals most at risk, most of these occurring in the safety net population and those with legal issues. In Ohio, 94% of the unintentional overdose deaths had contact with the criminal justice system. Wanting to make an impact quickly and effectively, we created partnerships and alliances with safety net providers to provide them the SOAR at no cost with the award funds from this challenge. We have also partnered with various legal organizations and universities to develop a model that will utilize the SOAR assessment to identify risk factors associated with criminal drug use. Referrals resources will then be made. We have received overwhelmingly positive feedback from our collaborators and partners about the impact the SOAR is having across the state. As we do this, we realize that the opioid epidemic is not about numbers, but individuals. We have all been affected by this crisis and too many lives have been taken and destroyed. We express appreciation to the state of Ohio and Nine Sigma for the opportunity to participate in this challenge. But most importantly, we are grateful for their vision in hosting and funding this competition in an effort to find effective solutions to mitigate the opioid crisis. Thank you.